is up you guys welcome back to another one if you were new to the channel i am gold pony and today we are in the new 2019 genesis g80 sport courtesy of jack g and Volvo genesis in york pa and I actually just got done talking with them a little bit they do have plans to build a standalone genesis dealership now in the area that is pretty darn exciting i gotta admit so typically i start with pricing but today before we get to the pricing i did want to go over everything that you actually get with a purchase of a Genesis, including free scheduled maintenance for three years, a free valet service, meaning the Genesis dealership actually comes to you, picks up your car, drops you off a loaner if you need it, and then returns your car when it is done, if you wanted to go that route, that is. Also, free navigation updates for three years, free 24-7 roadside assistance, again, for three years, and also free Sirius XM radio, once again, for three years. Quite a bit of free complimentary features included with the purchase of a Genesis, so I did want to mention that to start. But... Now let's start with pricing. Pricing for the Genesis G80 Sport will start at $55,250 for the rear wheel drive setup. All wheel drive will start at $57,750. But then perhaps the best part about the Genesis G80 Sport is the engine setup. And this is where the Sport of course differentiates itself from the standard G80. Powering this beast is a 3.3 liter twin turbocharged V6, putting out 365 horsepower at 6,000 RPM, 376 pound-feet of torque available at 1,300 RPM, power again sent to rear wheels or all wheels through Genesis's H-Track all-wheel drive system. That power is sent to the ground through an eight-speed automatic with paddle shifters, which you guys already know. I am definitely gonna be testing those out in a little bit, see how quickly their reaction times are. And zero to 60 time is gonna come in at approximately 5.1 seconds with the top speed of 155 miles per hour and MPG numbers coming in at 17 in the city, 24 on the highway taking premium unleaded fuel. But said that before we get into the paddle shifter test or acceleration test, there is a drive mode button located directly behind the shifter there. But so when you press that, you will find driving modes like normal, eco, and sport. I did just put it in sport driving mode. It did immediately downshift for me, holding the RPMs at a much higher level, giving you more power on demand. It's also going to adjust throttle response, steering sensitivity, and the suspension via some damping control adjustments. The G80 Sport does come with an adaptive damping system, monitoring each shock absorber individually, adjusting the ride based on your driving style and the road's imperfection, so to speak, not only giving you a smoother ride, but also tightening up that suspension around heavy cornering, really essentially giving you the best of both worlds. But so now that we have mentioned all of that, I think you guys know what we have to do next. Let's go ahead and hit one of these paddle shifters that is going to put me in paddle shift mode. I am in fourth gear. I'm going to have to downshift a couple times and let's test out the paddle shifters here. delay to the paddle shifters they're not that bad they're still there for a little bit of fun there but yeah there is going to be an ever so slight delay there but now let's give the control back to the car all you need to do to go ahead and do that is just slide the shifter all the way to the back once again that gives the control back to the car and let's do a quick little acceleration in the new g80 sport see how quickly we can get this one here up to speed Nice engine sound to this thing, but yeah, acceleration, definitely not an issue. Absolutely no issues emerging onto the highway. This thing is definitely quite quick. But so then to go along with that acceleration, as always, braking is equally important. And so of course, brakes have been updated for the G80 Sport, comparatively speaking to the standard G80 at least. For example, with the standard G80, you have 13.6 inches up front, 12.4 in the back. With the G80 Sport, those rotor sizes are gonna be bumped up to 14.2 inches up front even 13 inches in the back and as far as the braking feel goes definitely no issues there hyundai and genesis always kill it with the braking feel so definitely a big fan there but so they're touching on handling and suspension a little bit up front you will find an independent multi-link front suspension with coil springs and shock absorbers in the back an independent multi-link rear suspension with coil springs and shock absorbers also front and rear stabilizer bars and like i was previously mentioning the adaptive damping suspension which again gives you the best of both worlds that is probably going to make the most difference that is why the g80 sport has 
has such a nice ride quality to it and at the same time handles well when you're going through those back roads too but overall my short driving stint today again ride quality has been excellent comes to the steering feel with that sport driving mode the steering feel definitely is nice not the heaviest weighted steering wheel in the world which probably is a good thing but definitely a nice weight to it the only thing when it comes to steering feel if I had any constructive criticism is the steering wheel itself the grips are kind of small for it being a little more geared towards a performance car so I wouldn't have mind a little bit thicker grips on the G80 Sport at least and touching on cabin noise you guys could probably tell there isn't a whole lot of exterior noises whatsoever coming into the cabin on this one so definitely impressed there as well and touching on visibility I can see perfectly fine out the back but perhaps my favorite part about visibility is the head-up display that I got in front of me here. Showing me things like safety features, how fast I'm going, of course, but also the speed limit of any given road. So definitely appreciative of that. But what do you guys say now? Let's take a look at the exterior of the G80 Sport because there are a ton of differences that really differentiate this one, comparatively speaking, to the G80. And so starting up front, the most obvious way you can really pinpoint a G80 Sport, comparatively speaking to a G80, is the copper accents. And they are going to be located throughout the car, but specifically in the perimeter of that thick black mesh front grille. That is where I see most of the copper accents. And speaking of that front grille, if you were curious what that rectangular box is that is kind of painted like the front grille up there, that is going to be the sensor for the adaptive cruise control system. So I do kind of like how they incorporated that into the front grille. Definitely looks nice. It doesn't look obvious, like it doesn't belong or anything like that. So well done, Genesis there. To the sides, you will find full LED headlights with dynamic bending, meaning when you're going around the bend at night, those headlights will swivel based on your steering angle, better illuminating what is around the corner so you don't go hitting any deer or any pedestrians or anything like that. It's always a good thing. And of course, with those headlights, they do come with the automatic features. So you don't have to worry about turning them on when it does start to get dark out, as well as LED daytime running lights. And once again, copper accents found within the front headlights. Definitely a nice little accent. And again, it ties in all the other copper accents I'm going to be mentioning as well. Then make your way to the side of the G80 Sport. You will find sport trim specific side screen along with gloss black side mirrors with LED integrated turn signals. Zooming out a little bit, you're gonna find chrome window surrounds, definitely adds to that high-end look on this one. Taking a look down at the wheel setup, 19 inch alloy wheels will come standard and believe it or not, they are a staggered fitment, meaning the front wheels are gonna be slightly smaller as far as width goes, comparatively speaking to the rear wheels even with the all-wheel drive setup that's not just for the rear wheel drive so overall wheel size comes in at 19 by 8.5 inches up front 19 by 9 inches in the back more than likely helping with a little better acceleration there but again copper accents found on the center wheel caps and i gotta love kind of the carbon fiber look with the genesis logo in the middle there as well so wheels definitely look good make your way to the back led tail lights will come standard along with led license plate lighting I always have to mention the small stuff like that gloss black rear diffuser just below and to the sides there dual exhaust outlets with chrome quad integrated exhaust outlets so they're integrated into the rear bumper always a fan of that so you guys know what we have to do next as always here is that exhaust clip And so, but now since we are around back to open that rear trunk, simply just press the button on the key fob. That's what I did at least, but it is a power rear trunk there. But once opened up, cargo capacity is going to come in at 15.3 cubic feet. And I was curious, so I did see there was a little handle I lifted up underneath that. And I did find a spare tire. Anyways, make your way up to the rear legroom. That comes in at an even 35 inches. Also for those rear passengers, they will find rear ventilation along with the rear center armrest with cup holders. And when those rear passengers put that rear center armrest down they will also find they have the power to turn on their heated rear seats along with a power rear sunshade as well and to continue that sunshade trend rear side window sunshades will come with this one as well so if you are a vampire and you are considering being in the back seat of one of these you are going to do just fine but so then making your way up to the front seats the copper stitching continues throughout not only on the seating both front and rear seats but on the side doors as well definitely a nice look there and those front seats are power adjustable with power lines bar that will come with memory settings for up to two different drivers they are also heated and ventilated and of course come standard with a leather finish taking a look at the steering wheel it is tilt and telescoping wrapped in a perforated leather meaning that steering wheel will come heated as well it's definitely nice and when it comes
comes to the startup, let me first start by showing you guys the key here. You do have your Genesis logo on the one side, and when you flip it over, lock, unlock, and again, that button to pop the rear hatch. But it is all actually keyless entry, so all you need to do is simply just put your foot on the brake and press that engine start button located just by the driver's right knee there. And once started up, tachometers on your left, speedometers on your right, and there is a fairly large digital display front and center. To control what is on that digital display, simply use the steering wheel mounted controls on the right side there, and that's going to give you things like your outside temperature, how many miles you have left until you hit empty. There's your digital speedometer up there if you wanted it, as well as when you need your next oil change. And there's a ton of other stuff, honestly, you could check out there. Making our way to overall interior quality though now. First thing I noticed at least was the analog clock, again, with the copper accents and the Genesis logo front and center. Definitely appreciated that. Also an Alcantara headliner will come standard on the G80 Sport. Again, absolutely in love with that. You usually see Alcantara headliners on very high-end cars like Porsche, Lamborghini, McLaren, things like that. So that was definitely nice. Aluminum foot pedals come standard along with the panoramic sunroof. So both the front seats and the rear seats have access to the sky there. Home link controls will come standard up to three different garage doors. And there is carbon fiber trim throughout this one, which of course goes along well with the twin turbo V6, of course. But now let's make our way to the tech display. You will find a 9.2 inch high resolution colored touchscreen display. This will come standard with Bluetooth and audio streaming as well as Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Factory navigation system also standard and again part of the Genesis brand is you get three years of free updates there. You will also get Blue Link on that tech display which is kind of Genesis's version of Chevy's OnStar. And by the way to control all of this it is a color touchscreen display but if you didn't want to smudge up the screen there's actually a circular dial and buttons just behind the shifter there so feel free to use those as well. But you can of course also check out your radio settings up there and by the way when it comes to the sound system you do get a Lexicon 70 speaker surround sound system. And I got to say the speakers on this Lexicon sound system, they're very high end looking. Most of them I'm looking at have aluminum covers to them. So a very high end look there, but enough with the speakers. Let's just test out the sound system here. See what we got playing on our three years of Sirius XM radio here. And let's test out the clarity of this one. <laughs> Bass is nice. I think I'm more impressed with the clarity though. 17 speakers, I guess it is as expected that it would be a much clearer sound system than I'm used to hearing, but very nice clarity on this Lexicon sound system. And the bass, of course, is nice as well. But so then last thing on the tech display I wanted to mention is when you do put the Genesis G80 Sport in reverse, you will find a rear view camera with a 360 degree view as well, letting you know who or what is behind you, which is always is going to lead me into safety. And so when it comes to safety, I first wanted to start with the 2019 Genesis G80 Sport was awarded a 2019 IHS Top Safety Pick Plus recognition, and that is the very highest safety recognition by that group. So that is definitely nice. But front side and side curtain airbags will come standard along with a driver's knee airbag as well. But it continues in the back. Rear seat side impact airbags also standard. You usually almost never see that right now. And since we're in the back now, latch, aka lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats also there automatic emergency braking with pedestrian detection comes standard along with adaptive cruise control with stop and go and essentially what that is is after coming to a complete stop the speed and the distance control are then re-engaged when the car in front of you starts moving again so it's a very intelligent system so that's pretty cool too but lane departure warning also standard along with lane keep assist driver inattention monitor so it's going to detect when you maybe start to get drowsy start swerving a little bit and it's going to yell at you essentially and last standard safety feature I wanted to mention is the blind spot monitoring system with rear cross traffic alert. And so, but that is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like the video and subscribe. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen there. And I will see you guys in the next video. Stay gold. <laughs>